Hey everybody, good morning. Cheers to you. Happy Monday. This is Coffee and Music number 426. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Thanks for joining me today. Mm. I hope you all are having a spectacular Monday so far. Unethical Entertainment, how's it going? Thanks for joining the stream this morning. Mm. Yo, Jacob. How's it going? How's it going? All right, you know, I wanted to give some stuff away this morning. So since I got two comments immediately from Unethical Entertainment and Jacob Redford, whoa! And then all of a sudden, all the comments come through. <laughs> Boom! Two boot wallets. I want to give these to Unethical Entertainment and Jacob Redford for commenting right off the bat on this stream. Thanks. I appreciate both of you guys. You are the best. Thank you. Notification. Now you're wide awake. Whew, you don't even need that coffee. Be sure to email me, Unethical Entertainment and Jacob Redford uh, at jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com with your addresses, and I'm going to send you those boot wallets. Really, they're cell phone wallets when it comes down to it, right? <laughs> but, hey, they fit inside some boots. No, thank you, Unethical Entertainment. Thank you. All right, I'm going to kick things off here with an old cowboy ballad. This is called, well, it was, a, it was originally an old cowboy ballad that was called Buffalo Skinners, but then I changed it. See, in the, uh, in the Old West, you used to have drovers, which organized teams of cowboys to drive cattle from one place to another. But when there weren't any cattle to drive, sometimes drovers would organize hunting parties, and they'd go hunt buffaloes so that these cowboys could still get paid. So Buffalo Skinners is a story about that, but there's only one drover. Uh, and with everything going on nowadays and how people are trying to split and divide different parties and left and right and the country all together, I was like, you know what? It'd be a cool metaphor to have two drovers and uh, show that split among the cowboys in the song because the cowboys do split in uh, the traditional song. But I like the fact that there are two drovers in this who team up. So I rewrote the song and I called it Two Drovers. So here it goes. Good morning, Sweet Marie. James Tibbet, how's it going? Anthony, yo. How's it going? Susan Chen. Good to see you from Taiwan, yeah. All right, here we go. This is Two Drovers. Now I found myself in Boise in the springtime of 16 when two well-known famous drovers come walking up to me saying, how you doing, young fellow, and how would you like to go? Spend the summer pleasant on the trail of the buffalo. Well, me being out of work right then to the drovers, I did say, if I may be bold, I have been told all the buffalo have gone away. But if you pay good wages and transportation to and fro, I guess I could go with you on the trail of the buffalo. <laughs> of course we pay good wages and transportation too. If you'll agree to stay with us until the season's through. But if you do get weary and you try to run away, There'll be no one else to save you, and you'll also lose your pay. Well, with all their flattering talking, they signed up quite a team. And the papers treated them like the only two drovers on the scene. And our trip, it was a pleasant one, as we hit the Westwood Road. To find success at behest of these two here that drove. But then our pleasures ended and our troubles soon began 
as these two drovers argued over views of food and hunting land. So the team split up into two even halves and started fighting over everything that came up on our path. As we all had feared, the time of Buffalo had end, even though one said that it could be great again. And so they changed the game, they changed the rules and the fear. We all thought of the future, but it was no longer clear. When the working season ended, those drovers had made up and explained under smiles the team's fighting cost too much so with all the season's pay the two turned to go but the team arose to leave their bones with those of the buffalo yeah ha two drovers ha yeah love it power's always with us guys Mm. Old cowboy songs. Yes, yes, yes. Colin says, anyone's shocked how many songs he has in his head. I can't even find my keys most days. <laughs> Coffee doesn't help. Trust me, I can't find my keys either. Every every day. I'm like, where are my keys? Where are my keys? And then my wife is like, oh, they're on the table over there. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> we make room for something <laughs> I just made room for songs And there's definitely room for more Why did I change it? James Tibbet asks I changed that song to modernize it a little bit The traditional song was more just like a regular cowboy ballad but I like to change folk songs because they are in the public domain. And that is the way of the folk song tradition, too. Even when people came from Europe and England and Ireland to the United States, they changed the songs to fit their situation. So you'll hear a lot of similarities between old Irish folk songs and English folk songs to songs from the Appalachian Mountains. You know, because that's where people moved to and where folk music started really kind of working up with the roots from the British Isles in the uh, Appalachian Mountains. And of course, you get some blues influence in there as well. And you get American folk music pretty much. And... It's just the tradition to change songs based off of your surroundings. So I wanted to change it based off of the things that I saw going on uh, in the modern day, especially in politics, because I'm really not a big fan of the Democrats or the Republicans and the way that they use us. So I figured that was a good metaphor to portray in that song. So... I felt like there was already a song there, so I just changed the one that I uh, that I was already playing because I learned that song previously. I just wasn't so excited about it, but I wanted to be excited about playing that song because it was sort of it's a fun song to play and it has good roots. So I just changed it a little bit. Completely cool in folk music. If you try that in pop music, you will get sued. <laughs> but in folk music, it's all good. Going to Circle B? No way! That's what I'm talking about. Whew. Good luck finding some boots. Oh, that reminds me. Oh. This week we're doing the uh, JW giveaway, the JW Boot Company giveaway, and that's on Friday, the last video of the three video series that we're doing because we're giving away three boots on Friday. This is an eel skin. It's an eel skin boot here. The video for this one is going up tomorrow, and then we're announcing the winners on Friday for a Boots and Ballads live stream. So if you haven't entered yet, be sure to do that on either the Blue Ostrich video 
the Black Cherry Booties video that went up on Thursday or on this JW Boot Company eel skin boot. This video is going up tomorrow. So, lots going on on the channel. We're doing three giveaways today, or not today, sorry, not today, this month. It's still early, folks, and I'm announcing the winners on Friday. Not today, Friday. <laughs> Good luck at Circle B, James. Good luck. All right. I'm going to play another song here. This is a song called Busy My Spade. You got to enter. Yeah. Boots for everybody, sweet Marie. Check out those booties that my uh, wife tried. Black Cherry, that video went up on Thursday. All right, this song is called Busy My Spade. It's about a grave digger who makes it his life's work to dig up people who have been buried alive. Yeah, they used to tie strings around people's hands when they buried them attach that string to a bell above ground so if they were still alive somebody above ground would know because that bell would ring and then the grave digger would come around and dig up that person before they ran out of air and if he succeeded in doing so it was said that that person was saved by the bell so that's where that saying comes from and if he failed person was dead by the time that he got them out because they'd suffocated and ran out of air. It was said that that person was a dead ringer. So here goes. This is Busy Must Be. Twine to your sister's hand Laid out the bell After she got low And I was summoned here To be the guide And sing her off to the other side But if anything should happen You'd be the first to know If she laying in the shade Of a reaper's gown I busy my spade When I hear the bell sound No matter how
to play. Oh, I hope it felt good to listen to, too. Oh, whew. if you want to hear more of that, you can hear it on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play Music, Amazon Music. It's everywhere. Just search Busy My Spade. Oh. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to enter the JW Boot Company giveaway. I'm closing entries on Thursday night or Friday morning, so be sure to do that. Uh, both men and women can enter. We got both men and women's boots up for grabs, giving away three pairs on Friday. Three pairs of boots. Three winners. That's crazy. This has never before been done on this channel. We're sure we do giveaways, but wow, three winners this week on Friday. Stream starts at 7.30, I want to say, <laughs> but be sure to check it. I want to say it's at 7.30. <laughs> Unethical Entertainment asks, which boots am I wearing today? Well, I wanted to, I didn't really want to say because I didn't want to confuse all of everything with the JW Boot Company stuff going on, but well, I'll, I'll, I'll share it anyways. <clears throat> Chisos. Chisos boots. Okay, I got them a little muddy this morning, but check it out. Chisos boots. Let me tell you something. I know we're doing the JW Boot Company giveaway right now, but this Chisos boots and the Chisos boots that I've tried so far because I also tried the square toe one the brown square toe the this is Chisos number one I also tried Chisos number two this is the best boot that I've tried in a really long time like I love it it is completely different from what you're seeing out there right now it's got modern aspects it's got traditional aspects it's the closest thing that I've tried to the perfect boot and I can't wait to do the video about it it's coming in early March it's pretty much done I just got a little bit more to record on it but man I am wearing the Chisos boots today and I've just been grabbing them like if I want to just do something random or or even just go out and do a lot of walking like anything if I want to do anything I've been grabbing the Chisos boots Chisos you guys got to watch Chisos. I mean, I put it in my video in December, the five boot companies to watch in 2020. Chisos is definitely living up to that. I'm telling you right now, keep an eye on Chisos boots. <clears throat> How many boots do I have all together, James asks. Well, it depends. Uh, I've been getting a lot to try. So I've kind of lost count, um, but I'm trying to figure out a system to figure out which ones I actually want to keep because there are a lot that I've tried that companies have sent me that I've done giveaways for and things like that. And it's just like, I don't need all of these boots and they don't really have a place in my heart. So I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, how much I actually want to keep. I'm going to be selling some on eBay because I got rent to pay. So, um, But I still do work out the giveaways for everybody else. So uh, I would say that I probably have about 10 that I really enjoy right now. I would say that. I have. There's more than 10 in this room, 10 pairs. But I would say that, that as, a, as a keeping forever sort of idea I think I have 10 this is a strange I've never been encountered with this problem before I mean before I had four boots and I believe that four boots are like the perfect amount for a boot owner to have four pairs and I'll probably do a video on that at some point because I've been thinking about it a lot uh, now that I have more because I've been able to try so I'm so grateful for this opportunity to be trying so many boots but when I think about it 
and the reason why I got into boots in the first place, I just stopped at four because it felt like it's all I really needed. Uh, a brown pair, a black pair, a pair with a rubber sole that's basically a beater, beater pair, and a exotic pair. Like four is the perfect number for cowboy boots, I think. So if you are into cowboy boots, I think four is the absolute perfect number. Now you can go past that if you absolutely enjoy and love boots, but I feel like for the average person, four is like the sweet spot um, from my experience. And I'll probably make a video about that in the future, but I, I really feel like four is like tch, perfect. <laughs> better better a boot attic, yeah. <laughs> three pairs. See, like three or four pairs is perfect. Carlos has got four pairs. See, is it it's like it's like the perfect amount of boots. <clears throat> Chris, can't wait for uh, yeah, I can't wait for the giveaway this weekend either. The Chisos video is gonna be epic, guys. I'm trying a bunch of new things with the test on these videos. Uh I went to Provincetown in Massachusetts, the little end of the, the cape there, that hook in Massachusetts, and I met with uh, Raul DeLara, an artist out there, and he also has Chisos boots, so I was recording him and him doing his like uh, wood engraving, so he's like working with a chainsaw and ch Chisos boots, and then we went to the beach um, and did some beach testing with the, with the boots. It's going to be... Phew. Guys, the Chisos video is is going to be so good, and I'm so happy because they're such good boots. I absolutely love it. So my favorite exotic leather is Cayman Belly. I love Cayman Belly so much. It's like got this nice uh, reserved look, but it's also exotic and sort of aggressive at the same time with it being from like a reptile and alligator sort of animal. So I love, I love Cayman Belly a lot. All right, guys, it was great talking with you. You guys are you guys are awesome, so spectacular. I really appreciate all your support, and I'm so excited to be doing the giveaway on Friday. The Boots and Ballads, we're giving away three pairs, and the more giveaways that I, I – I feel like I can't do enough giveaways because you guys are so supportive of me, this channel, my music. I just want – Everybody who watches me, all like 6,900 of you pretty much at this point, crazy. I want to give every single one of my per my subscribers a pair of boots. And maybe someday I can just Oprah that and just be that level. But right now I can't. So uh, the, the, the giveaways that we do accomplish on this channel is just, it feels great because... Uh, you guys, you guys are so supportive of me, and I just want to pay that back because it really, it really means a lot to me. I mean, even the fourteen of you that are on right now at ten thirty in the morning on a Monday, like you have so many other things to do, yet you're spending it with me, and I think that's just um, incredible. So thank you so much. You guys are seriously the best. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you on Facebook tomorrow but definitely on Friday for the Boots and Ballads live stream. You are incredible. Have a spectacular day. Let's get out there, kick ass, take names. There's lots to accomplish, so let's take what's ours. Peace, everybody. Have a good one.